towards your friend, you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay Hi guys, welcome back again to the channel If you are new here, my name is Chisum and Please subscribe and turn on your notification bell To be notified anytime I upload a new video Thank you so much so guys, we are going to be making this trendy, reversible pinafore top with 720 degrees peplum. It's a very simple tutorial and it's a very simple top. So if you are interested, please continue watching and make sure you watch to the end so you won't miss out of any important information. So guys, with that being said, let's get started. The materials I'll be using for the top. I have two different Ankara prints, and this is my cloth gum. You can use any gum of your choice. So, guys, before we continue, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up so that others can see it as well and watch. So, we are going to start now. I'll be cutting the upper part first. Then after cutting the upper part, we'll cut the peplum, 720 degrees peplum. So I'll place my fabric on fold. I'm going to cut with this one. And then later I'll use it to trace this one. So guys, to cut the upper part, I've placed my fabric on fold using my shoulder measurement divided by 2. My shoulder measurement is 16, divided by 2 is 8. So I have 8 inches here. I'm going to cut the back side. After cutting the back side, I'll use it to cut the front side. I hope you understand because the back side will not have any opening. Why the front is going to have an opening. So we are cutting the back, like I said. I'll start by marking out one inch for my starting point. Then from there, I'll take the length of the half length. The half, my half length for this peplon is going to be 16 inches. But the peplon is going to have band. It's going to have band at the waist. So I'm going to remove 2 inches from my half length for the band. Do you understand? So 16 minus 2 is 14. Plus 1 inch for allowance. So I'll mark 15 inches as the half length. Then I'll mark my shoulder measurement here which is 8, 16 divided by 2, 8. But instead of marking 8, I'm going to remove 1 inch from 8 and mark 7 inches so that the, the cloth will not be at the tip of the shoulder. So from there, I'll take the neck width, 3 inches. I'll slope the shoulder by 1 because, you know, our shoulders are not straight. I measure half inch for my shoulder allowance and connect. So having done that, I'll come here and measure my neck depth for the back side. The neck depth for the back side is going to be 1.5 inches because it will be high neck, 3, three inches neck width, 1.5 inches neck depth. I'm going to measure my bust pan here. My bust pan is 8. Divide by 2 will give me 4. So I'm going to come here and measure 4 inches and mark. For sewing allowance, I'll add half inch. So what I have here is 4.5. So for the shoulder, I'm going to still add half inch here to sew the shoulder. Okay? So guys, the next step is to connect from here, from this shoulder measurement to this uh, boss span measurement. Do you understand? It's as simple as that. So this is the back part. I'll quickly cut it out and we'll use it to cut the front. To cut the front part, I'll just place this on top and then I'll leave like half inch for sewing allowance because you know we are going to open the front side then I'll cut after cutting I'll trim the neckline 
So guys, after cutting, I'll, be, I'll bring down the neck depth for the front side. Because the back and the front will not have the same neck depth. I hope you understand. So, the neck depth for the back is 1.5. For the front, I'll be making the neck depth to be 3.5. So this is 3.5. I'm going to mark it here. 3.5. So I'll connect. So as you can see, the back is higher than the front. So after that, the next step is to open up this front side. So this is it for the upper side. I'm going to use this to cut out the same thing on this fabric. So guys, I've cut out the other material. Just the same way you cut your lining, that's the same way you cut it. So this is my band. The wideness of the band is 3 inches. So I cut out 3 inches, 1 inch for sewing allowance at both sides. So after sewing, we'll be left with 2 inches. And then the length, the length of the band is going to be 60 inches. So this is it for the upper part. I'm going to cut the peplum now. So we are cutting 720, 720 degrees peplum. And 720 degrees peplum is 360 into 2. That is 2 full circles. 360 plus 360 will give us 720. To cut out 720 degrees peplum, I'm going to divide my waist measurement by 2. My waist measurement is 34. Divide by 2 will give us 17. So what we'll do next is to get the radius of the circle. R is equal to C over 6.28. Just write this formula down. There's no need cracking your head over it. And yeah, to get the radius, R, my C will be 17. Divide by 6.28, which will give me 2.75. Okay? The radius of the circle is going to be 2.75. I'll be using this this 2.75 to do my markings. Do you understand? So guys, I haven't gotten the radius to be 2.75. The next thing is to determine the length of the peplum. The full length is 25 minus the half length, which is 16, together with the band. I hope you understand. So it will give us 9. The length of the peplum is going to be 9 inches. Do you understand? The length of the peplum, 9 inches. That is the full length of the top minus the half length. We give you the length of your peplum. Do you understand? So the next thing is to place our material on fold. To do that, I'll add the length of the peplum to the radius of the circle. So, 9 plus 2.75 will give us 11.75. 11.75. So this is what I'll use to place my fabric on fold. Alright, so after cutting one circle with this radius, I'll use it to cut another circle. Do you get? So this is it. As simple as that. I hope you understand it. Just divide your waist measurement by two before you find the radius of the circle. So guys, I'll fold I'll the fabric into two using 11.75. Then I'll be adding one inch for allowance. So what I will measure out is 12.75. I have 13 inches here. Do you understand? Unfold. So I'll measure the same 13 inches here. And on that point, I'll fold again. So the fabric is now folded into four. At this point, I'm going to measure the radius of the circle. The radius of the circle, 2.75. 2.75. Then I mark. I'll measure it all round. Can you see? So from that point, from this line, I'll take the length of the peplum, which is 9, plus 1 inch for allowance, 10. So 
I'll use this one to cut the second peplum. Do you understand it now? For us to get 720 degrees. That is two circles. So here we have the 720 degrees peplum. So the next step is to use these two to cut out on this fabric. Remember we are making a reversible peplum. So guys, I'm done cutting the four peplum. Two for this and two for this. So the next step is to open up one side. I'm going to open one side of the four of them. So guys, after cutting, the next step is to attach my interfacing. So guys, after cutting, I went ahead to fix my fusible interfacing. On the flare here, I have cloth gum attached. As you can see, the peplum is a bit thick. So if you want this effect on your own peplum, this kind of standing effect on your peplum, then you should go for a cloth gum. Don't put crinoline in this, uh, in this reversible peplum. Do you understand? And on the belt stroke band. So on this half length, which is the pinafore part of the peplum, I fix my paper gum. So this one is paper gum, while this one is cloth gum. So the next thing is for us to go ahead and do the joining. I'll join the peplum first before the pinafore, the upper part. So I'll go ahead and join these two. I'll join these two here. The same thing here. I will join the two of them at one side. So guys, after joining the two flay together, we now have 720 degrees flay, as you can see. So guys, the next thing I'll be doing is to bring the two edges together and make a curve. Because the front part of the peplum is going to have a curvy shape. So for that curve, I'll just measure 3 inches from this axis and I'll connect. So the next thing I'm going to do is to go and stitch them down. So I'm going to sew from here. I'm going to sew from here all through to this point. So guys, I'm done stitching all around the peplum. I'm going to cut it. I'll give it a notch all around. And I'll turn to the right side and give it a nice press. So guys, I'm done ironing the peplum. And this is what, how it looks very neat and well relaxed as you can see so guys the next step is to attach our band to belt you know this side will be this side while this side will be for the other side so i'm going to fold this into two and notch the center of the belt I'll do the same thing to this one. And on this flare, I'm going to get the center too. I'll fold it into two and notch the center. Though this line represents the center, this is where I join the two circles together. So I'm going to place the belt in such a way that the notches will match. So I'm going to place it. The peplum will be inside, inside the two belt or band. So I'm going to, from here, from this center, I'll sew towards the edge of the peplum. You can pin it down if you wish. So from the center point, 
from the center point here i'm going to stitch when we get to the end of the peplum i'll continue to stitch to stitch until we get to the edge of the belt and i'm going to close it up like this so guys after stitching down the band this is what i have So if you still want, you can make this side in a belt form. You can just cut it, cut this side, and here it will look like this. Do you understand? So yeah, the next thing I'll be doing is to fold in half inch for sewing allowance and iron it down. So I'll just open this side like this and fold. So guys, I'm not ironing the sewing allowance inside, as you can see. So it's just for easy sewing. So guys, at this point, if you have not given this video a like, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up so that others can see it as well. I'll go over to the machine and join the two shoulders and I'll be right back can you see so I'll place it right side to right side and I'm going to stitch the neckline I'll stitch the neckline down stitch this part close this side this side the only place I will not be stitching is this up this side this side and yeah this side so guys i'm done stitching but before i turn to the right side i'm going to notch the neck the neckline i'm going to notch it all around so that it will be easy to turn and it will relax very well remember there's no top stitching i'm going to turn I'll turn to the right side from here. So guys, the next step is to attach the half length to the peplum to complete the top. So to attach it, I'm going to fold this entire peplum into two. I'm going to fold it into two. And mark that point after marking the center point then i'm going to i'll be fixing this one first the back side i'll just fold it into two and get the center as well so I'm going to place it like this inside making sure that the lines at the center are lined together so I'll just place it inside like this the sewing allowance inside for this side is going to be half inch because that's the sewing allowance we left and I'll just go over to the machine and stitch it down I'll stitch from here to here so guys, after joining this center part, the next thing to do now is to join this side. So what I'll do now is to bring this one and from the edge of this peplum, I'll attach this one like this. Okay. So I'm going to stitch, I'll make sure that the sewing allowance for this one inside is half an inch. So I'll go ahead and stitch from here to here. Then I'll do the same thing on this other side. So guys, I'm done fixing the, the pinafore part of the peplum. So after fixing it, we'll have, still have some places open. This place is open and here is open at the side and also here is open and here too 
So guys, what I'll do now is to go over to the machine and close up all the open sides. So guys, after sewing, closing up the open side, this is what I have. So, I hope you like it. If you do, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And try it out. Let me know your results in the comment section. And if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Okay? So guys, this is it. This is the other side. Anywhere you want to put on is fine. So this is like killing two beds with one stone. If you like, you wear this side. And if you like, you wear this other side. And it will look like you made this peplon in two places. That is why it is a reversible peplon top. Okay? So guys, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, I'll see you again. For now, it is bye-bye.